Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Review and Review. Review. And we review things and like them because you know we like reviewing things. Exactly. And today we're gonna be reviewing the Nova 3i by Huawei. Huawei, man. So the Nova 3i is a mid-range smartphone with premium features. Now, what premium features you may ask? Well, we'll get into it very soon. Oh. We got the phone. Let's put it on the side. Let's see what's in the box. We have these things. I think every mobile phone box has this thing. It's the key. It's not a key. It's called the SIM card ejector. I, I like to call it a key. It opens something, right? Okay, we have a charger right here. Micro USB. Yes, that's the sad thing though. Because it's 2018. Majority of the phones nowadays use USB-C. So this is the only downside to it. But, you know, you can always use your old cables Ooh. as well. Oh, you know what I like about this though? It what? doesn't have one of those like, the charging port is also an audio jack. Yes. I like that. I hate it when they do that because I can't really charge my phone when I want to listen to music. But you, you shouldn't do that actually. So these are all that's inside the phone. Alright, let's just get down straight to the phone. So this phone comes with a 6.3 inch display supporting full HD+. Plus. It has a weird aspect ratio at 19.5 is to 9. What it means is that it's just slightly elongated. Elongated? Right? Yes, it's long. You know nowadays, these days, like phones, like, as, as the generations get further, right, they're getting longer and bigger. But this is like small. But then it's long. So another good thing about this phone that even though it's small, it has an 81% screen ratio to body. From the get-go, let's just describe what we see on the phone, right? In front here on the top, we have two dual cameras. Two dual cameras? The first ever in the world to have a dual frontal camera. So below here, you have your micro USB port, you have your 3.5 audio jack port, and you have your speaker. I love seeing phones with a charging port and an audio jack, not just one small little thing. And behind the camera, you have your fingerprint scanner. You know, that's why I like about Huawei's phones, you know, they have this like fingerprint scanner behind. And also behind here, we have dual cameras as well. So, how many cameras do we have on this phone, Vince? Wow, you passed good. There are a total of four cameras on this phone and we'll get into details more later on. So the Nova 3i is powered by a state-of-the-art Kirin 710 Octo-Core with a 4GB of RAM and a memory storage of up to 128GB. Damn, that sounds powerful. Yeah, but that's not all. It's also expandable up to 256 gigabytes with a micro SD. Wow, imagine all the apps and photos you can take, you know? Right. You don't even have to like delete some. Let's just compare this phone to a phone that's slightly similar. Slightly similar? Slightly what similar. What are you talking about? What phone? Over here, in my hand, we have the Samsung A8 Star. So both these phones actually run on octa-core too and also have the same amount of uh, storage. And both of these phones supports full HD+. Plus. Hmm. But Vincent, can you make a guess on how much um, the Samsung phone costs? This Samsung phone, I think I'm pretty sure it's like around 900, 900-ish. This phone costs you $799. Oh, that's painful. So now that you know the price of the Samsung phone, right? So do you know the price of the Huawei phone? Well, I'm guessing because it has two cameras in front mm -hmm. and this one doesn't. Uh-huh. So this is going to be more expensive, like yeah, I'm going to say 900, 900. Oh, wow. That's a very good guess. But you're wrong. What? <laughs> it's $398. You're kidding me, right? No. I'm you are kidding me. Come on. No, like literally, you can buy two phones for one of this. With so much technology inside this and they're only selling it for 398 That is a bang for your buck. Because you know why? This phone is meant for all you fashion students, for those people who are very forward with their fashion sense, and social media savvy people, you know, like all us. You, all you artsy fartsy people, all you art students want to take cool selfies and stuff. I know you do, Vince. I don't take a lot of selfies. I know you do take a lot of selfies. You know what? So let's just get into the camera since you like taking selfies, right? I, who, who says when I take selfies? Then where do you get this from? You're very handsome. Okay, yeah, I do take selfies. Alright, so there are a few similarities and few differences when it comes to the camera. So both their rear cameras are at 16 megapixels. Both front cameras are 24 megapixels. But Huawei wins in this category because it has AI assistance. Which means it has a beautification algorithm, you know, which helps detect your gender, oh, wow. your age, your skin tone, and it gives you the optimal selfie. Let me explain to you what the dual lens means, alright? So, on the back here, one is 16 MP and one is 2 MP. So how it works is that the 16 megapixel camera will capture the basic data, the normal image data, and the 2 megapixel camera is a wide angle camera which captures depth. Depth, so you get all that good bouquet. Yes, know? oh yeah, you're smart. Very good bouquet. Good bouquet. So with an aperture of 2.2, you can really get those really professional looking cameras, you know, all those blurry, blurry backgrounds, you know? Uh, yeah, like a portrait mode, you know? So these two different cameras will take two separate photos and merge it into one, giving you the best photo. And how many lenses does this have? It has two lenses in the back, but only has one in the front. Yeah, because the Huawei Nova 3i is the first ever phone in the world 
to have dual cameras on the front. Damn. I just knocked it a bit. I'm so sorry. Let's compare both phone quality, all right? You know, I'll take a picture of you. Alright, can. I'll I take like a picture model. of you. I like the model. Yeah, yeah. I know you like the model, all right? So as you can see, the AI actually helps me describe the photo here. It says that as a portrait, so you can just see Vincent. Normal photo mode. And now I'm going to take photo with the Samsung A8. Let's take with the Samsung. Very handsome, I, I Vincent. I really feel like the Huawei phone has a better sound. Like, In wow. your personal opinion, In which In my camera? personal opinion, I think the Huawei one looks nicer. Why? It has more depth. I didn't even go all out on the aperture and you can already see there's a sense of bokeh because the AI already assists you. It senses your, your surroundings, all right? Let's just see it, for example. When I, when I pointed it to Vincent, it showed portrait on the camera, right? Let me show you what happens when we do is when we do a selfie together. The AI features actually lets you know where you are. See, you're in a room. We're in a room. So the phone automatically optimizes itself to room settings, and I just open up my hand again. <laughs> oh, this is a really cool feature I heard about. Like, if you open up your hand like this, is my hand too white? <laughs> your hand is too white, I think. Let me let me do mine. Let me do mine. Oh my god. <laughs> So the Nova 3i also has a front camera portrait mode which means that as you take a selfie, you have bokeh in your background wow. as well. That feature alone is enough to beat the A8. But that's not all that this camera offers, you know? What else? What else can it do? Have you heard of Qmoji? Q? Qmoji? What? Yes. what? What is this Qmoji? So the Huawei phone also comes with a Qmoji which consists of a chameleon, a dog, a cat, a bunny and a pufferfish. fish. Okay, but, an apple. Oh yes, okay Vince, okay, okay. Alright, alright, cool, 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 cool. cool. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that was so fun though. Alright, it's not just Qmojis, we have special effects. So there's special features like effects, you can be a bunny, you can be a cat. You know, you don't have to download any external apps, you know, to put on filters. This camera already has filters for you. <laughs> there's even different backgrounds and 3D objects. Like AR, dude, there's a penguin. Oh, nice! We have a penguin on the table, That's taking a, a shower. Wow. That's uh, a hot bath. Oh, penguin eating? Hey, penguin! Penguin eating some food? So there are a lot of other things that can be explored on the camera. Trust me, it's a lot. We can go on all day talking about the camera. It's so full of fun. So this phone is definitely known for its cameras. Yeah, that, but that's already a winning point. A lot of people, when they're looking for phones, they want to have a good camera. Exactly. Uh, nowadays, this day and age. Welcome to the modern day and age. But that's not all. Besides the camera, what else, Vince, would you use your phone for? Besides, you know, your basic necessities gaming. like texting. I want a game. Exactly. I love gaming. Everywhere. On the phone, on the computer, on the console, everywhere. But on the phone, it's easier, you know, because you're walking around. So, I want a really good phone to game. So, have you heard of a brand new technology called GPU Turbo? What that is? Imagine a car with turbo <laughs> thrusters. So, it's faster? It's faster, it saves up your battery, and it's more efficient. Oh! And you don't have to worry about your phone running out of memory space because it has a 4GB of RAM. So as I mentioned earlier, this phone is powered by the Kirin 710 Octocore and assisted with the GPU Turbo, this will actually help graphic processing efficiency by 60% and reduce your energy SOC by 30%. So we your phone's not gonna really eat up the battery when you're playing games. That's nope. pretty good, right? And you're able to play your games to above 60 FPS. On a phone? On a phone. On a phone! On a phone. And here's another cool feature I found out, alright? For Android-based phones, you know you have this button here where you can split up your apps. Yeah. Apps, multiple apps running. Uh-huh. It actually shows you here Ooh, or how much see. RAM you're using. And as you can see right now, I'm running MapleStory and Asphalt at the same time and I have 2.38 gigabytes of RAM still available. You know what, Vince? I think you should get this phone as well. I know you're very clumsy with your phone. Your phone's had a couple of cracks over the months. Don't have to worry with this phone because it comes with two years of warranty. Oh, wow. So I can crack my phone as much as I want? No, but for real, guys, it comes with a two-year warranty guaranteed. Which is good because usually uh, other phones, they only come with one year. You know what, Vince? Sadly, you can't have this phone because this phone is for one of you guys out there. Yeah, and if you want to win this phone, simply comment down in the section below and tell us what are your favourite features on this phone. Actually, you know what? Just name us one feature is enough. Yeah, one feature. Tell yep. us one feature. Yep. What, what's, what's your, your feature? Ah! <laughs> Jake, you want me a soda? Okay. What's your favourite feature? My favourite feature is the GPU Turbo because you know, I like the game. Uh -huh. And 60 FPS is... Whoa, 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 can you imagine that playing PUBG on that? But my favourite feature is the Qmoji. I think it's kind of cute, you know, I'll have a lot of fun playing with the animals, you know, just singing. Next, next thing you know, I'll see him open my, up my WhatsApp and hey, Vince, check out this video I made. Idea, very good idea. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching and tuning in to another episode of WeView Review. Remember to like this video, subscribe to us and do comment down below on what other tech you'd like us to review. And until then guys, see ya. See you guys. Are you serious though? Can I... Uh, yeah, jump, jump, jump. Mine. No. It's for the people. It's for the good people out there.